and how you can muscle and pay some bills to get into office. How would you measure yourself up, the NCP, as against the big wigs of Lagos State, APC for instance, the PDP who wants to come into office and yourself? Well, you are right. Money has been a very big challenge for us because the people, the, the people we are competing against have been in government and they've been able to amass quite a lot of resources for themselves. They've been able to amass quite a lot of resources for themselves. But we are also now looking seriously at the people. I don't believe in the system we are you that is contesting an election. We have to fund your election. If a man is coming into my house and is telling me, please, I want to come into your house. I want to help you to clean your plate, keep your environment clean. I want to actually work for you, but take this amount of money so that I can do it. There's something is wrong with that process. Because you that I'm working for, you are the one who is supposed to pay me. And so we are looking in it, and we have been, we've been working on it, and that's how we have been able to get so far. People themselves contributing a little here, a little there. I'm just a poor parish priest, but friends, associates saying, oh, we actually believe in you. We believe in what you can do. We believe in service. And so we've been able to say, okay, take this little, take this little. Mainly for election, because we are not going to be buying votes. So we're going to take that out of it. We are not going to be paying people for their votes. But actually, to be able to get yourself heard. OK. Let's see if you, if you have what it takes to get you heard. Let's look at the issue of education and infrastructure, like housing, for instance. Lagos, you talked about 23 million people in Lagos. Nigeria's housing deficit is about 17 million and still counting You're with right. all the effort and all that. So what's the plan to handle the issues of human capital development before we go to housing? In Lagos, education, for instance. Well, funnily, I'm an educationist. And if you look at education in Lagos, it has some basic problems. Basic problem at all levels, both the primary education, the secondary education, and tertiary education. In Lagos, especially where you have the private schools more than the public yes. schools. Why, did, why do we have the rise in the private school? Because people have stopped believing in the public school. Why? Why did the belief stop? The quality. Not that you don't have, you have qualified teachers. The best and the, the most qualified teachers actually are in the public schools. So then that comes into seriousness in Most supervising them. teachers are in the public schools? Yeah, they're, yes, they're in the public schools. How did you get that data? I've been, a, I've been a teacher. I work in it. You cannot be employed in the public school without the basic educational qualification. At least right now, in the primary level, the basic educational qualification remains at NC. At secondary school level, even the NC teachers have been phased out. You have all of them graduates. Go to a lot of private schools. They just bring people, for, except some standard private schools. A lot of private schools that you have around just employ anyhow teachers who do not even have educational qualification. What research has backed, <coughs> backs up your, your claim? Personal experience, apart from personal experience, look at the people employed. I've seen quite a lot of schools that are private schools all around us. I've also been able to manage one before that belongs to the church. You don't have, they can't pay for those, or they don't actually want to pay that high amount to get the qualified teachers. And so you see in the public school, Teachers are running and getting more training. So the church, did, the church didn't pay for the best quality te teachers? No, I'm not saying that. What Don't get saying? me wrong. I didn't say the church are not paying for the best quality teachers. I say a lot of private schools. A lot of private schools.
Okay, so stick, let's get to the, the problem. Now, on what I'm saying is that let, let's go fixing education, getting the schools properly supervised, getting the infrastructures in the school in place, getting people to have more confidence in what the schools can dish out to them. Then in tertiary education, you discover that in Lagos, it's only in Lagos State, perhaps in, among the states in the Southwest, that have remained static in that level. Apart from when Lagos, when, Which when, level, I'm sorry. Which level that's level? tertiary education. How do you know static? Okay, let me tell you. The last schools, uh, the last institutions that were created or established by the state government was done by Latif Jaconde. Lagos State Polytechnic, Lagos State University, the College of Education. Since that time, the state government has not had it any. So you want to... And they have not even actually expanded on, expanded so much on those education. And the population of the state is including, is, so you, is, is increasing. You want to build more institutions? Why not? If they can do it in Ogun State, if they can do it in Ogun State, but they if also, they can do it in Ekiti, why also not Lagos? We're talking about funding for all those institutions. One, they are we have for greater, one track we have, the we, other. we have greater funding available to us than perhaps on those states. So, oh, so um, um, when you say they haven't uh, expanded on those infrastructure, what does that mean? You, did you take into cognizance uh, Lagos State University, the Lagos State Polytechnic, and all of them? When, we were, when they were establishing Lagos State University, for example, we establ they established it that it will run with students, you know, coming in from outside. So they yeah, are, are there are no residents. No there, no, there are no resident students there, but it was built with the purpose that with time, yeah, well, we, we those tests will be I'm done. To it has not been say. done, even up till now. I'm trying to understand your point. Are you saying the, the, there's been no investment in Lagos State University? No, there have been investment, but we could do better than that. Definitely have been investment. What specifically do you want to I, do? I did a master's program in, 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 in Lasso, for example. I have a All master's right. there let, in educational management. We'll come back to this in a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Sunrise Early. So uh, you're going to address the question he raised about your housing project or your housing uh, plan for Lagos. What would that be? One, first, we have got to create and build more, this time around, affordable. Not the type of affordable the present government is talking about. You are talking about affordable. And the basic man on the street cannot afford it. Yeah, but, but what, Latif what, 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 did what it. What are you working with? I mean, Latif what, what, what did the it with the low cost. What? What's your target? What deficit do you want to address? How many people do you want to cater what for? What actually is that I see a situation where we could put in place almost 250,000 housing units within four years. Latif Jaconde government achieved that. And those housing are still here today. They actually move a lot of them from outside the core of the big Lagos. It was a Paja. Paja was a rural area then, and all those areas. So we could still look at a lot of rural area where we move people to. Badagri is there, Ekpe is there, and a lot of people are moving towards that axis. Ikorodu is there build a proper tenement buildings, studio buildings. If you look at the low-cost housing unit that was built by the then MPN, for example, the one we have in Ikorodu, it's just a one-room apartment, one-bedroom apartment. And the way it was constructed, it makes it affordable to the man on the street. Something that even at a, within the course of two, three years, you could finish actually paying for it and you own it. How, how, are this, how, is, how, how will the structures be? Are, is, are you talking about high rise buildings to accommodate Well, because people? of the issue of land in Lagos, we, know, we don't have that space in Lagos that other areas have in Nigeria. So we also have to consider building it as high-rise, but not high-rise as high as 
Well, and the Lagos is improving. That's actually there an high-rise building where we can contain many people, provide facilities, including good roads, including water. So this is your plan. Are people expected to go out and, uh, you say, affordable? Because of being affordable is relative. Will people go out there and buy these houses? Will they rent their houses? And what are the costs you're looking rent at? And rent prior to honey. You rent, then as you pay your rent, you are going to eventually become the owner. All right, we'll have to anchor at that point. Mr. Funshawa is the governorship candidate of the NCP in Lagos. Thank you for coming on this morning. And that's the show today. We thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Usa. I'm Yimba Umar. I'm Neota Igbe and compliment of the season. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not reflect the views, opinions and endorsement of Channels Television.